In this video, we're going to make the male part of the inlay. We're making this out of pine, so this should be uh, much easier to cut. I'm going to take some quite aggressive cuts on this one. First part of the cutting is what we call the main file. That's basically cutting the the majority of the inlay out and providing us with the inverse of the female part so that it'll fit together. Once we've done that, we're going to do the V clean and then we're going to do the clean parts. Now remember the V clean is going to use the same 60 degree bit so we've got no tool change between the clean and the V clean. The clean part will use a flat end mill that's one eighth inch in diameter and it will require a tool change so we will do a tool change it will stop it pause we'll change over we'll hit resume and it will go on and clean up the rest of the file You can probably tell this is quite an aggressive cut. We're at six millimeters deep. And we're just going straight in. We're not going to have a finishing cut. We're just going to do it quickly. Remember when you do these inlays, the only part that's really important is the angle part of the sides of the inlay, the bottom and the top. Um, don't matter. They're not actually going to touch anything. There's actually going to be clearance between the bottom and the top of the female part. And ideally, the top of the male part doesn't touch the bottom of the female part or it's going to make it stand up and then we'll have a gap between our edges. I like to try and keep the work area clean. I use a normal shop vac and just clean up around the area, um, removing any Swarf is sent out by the cutter. Sometimes it goes all the way across the table. As you can see my MPCNC is quite large. And so I like to keep everything as clean as I can during the cutting. When I get to the cleaning, I don't necessarily need to use the vacuum because it takes such small cuts. There's hardly any swarf or any debris that you need to get clean. So I like to do it during the first cut, the main file part. If you notice the clamps that I use to clamp down the workpiece, they're actually 3D printed parts. It's a cam system. The center of the cam is a piece of conduit, the same as the MPCNC is built from. Um, and it's a design that was inspired by something that Marius Hornberger did on YouTube. Um, I copied his originals, <clears throat> but they didn't work very well for me, so I redesigned the blocks that do the gripping um, and it works pretty well. Now we start the V clean process. Watch how it hunt and pecks through this. It's time consuming but it's important because it can clear out some of the very small areas that other cutters can't reach so it's important to let it do its thing clean out all the small areas it's still going to leave some pieces that we'll need to clean up with a scalpel but we can do that much easier if we let the be clean finish the process
Now, if we look at the screen, you can see the estimated time for this uh, process is actually much closer than it was for the female part. Sometimes Octoprint does a good job with the estimation. Sometimes it doesn't. It's a bit like a Windows uh, countdown window here. <laughs> It'll just keep resetting itself. So you, it says you have seven minutes left, and then seven minutes further on, you still have seven minutes left. So it, it's an approximation. It's not an accurate thing. Finally, we're going to cut the clean process, which is the one-eighth flattened mill. We're going to use that to clean out all the large parts that are easily accessible. Again, very aggressive cut on this is six mil deep. The uh, actual cut is only about three mil in diameter, so it actually went through pretty fast. It's a, a two-fluted spiral cutter. Um, it's cutting at about 300. Uh, millimeters per second so it, it's going through fairly fast and moving that stuff out of there fairly quickly but leaving a decent finish one thing I do set up with the F engrave is I allow the cutter to cut in all directions sometimes it's better to look for uh, just up cut or just a uh, standard cut but I allow it to go in any direction I like so you'll see sometimes it goes side to side back and forth up and down all that good stuff. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'm going to do one more video, I think, in this series where I'll cut the um, male inlay to size and then do the glue up. Um, and then I'll finish it off. Once it's glued, I'll cut the male part down to uh, close to the surface of the female part. And then I may use the MPCNC just to finish it off by cutting it down uh, very, very close, or I may just sand it down. I'll wait and see how close it looks and, and how uh, well it fits. Thanks for watching.